Hi, um, you might remember this from when I was away. I think it was when I was in London. I did a couple of videos for you. So there's a video every day for you. And this is what I did with the doodling wise. It was doodling and then there was a bit of sewing as well, but this is the doodling. What I want to do today, um, this is a, I got this. It was really, really inexpensive. It was like a Christmas gift. It's like a desk planner and it's got tasks in it. And obviously, well, I'm not going to do the tasks. Well, I might, it depends how exciting they are. Live today by song lyrics alone. Get up like a sex machine. Well, I don't think I'll be doing that today because I'm getting my feet done, but you never know. Depends how well she does my feet. Um, interesting things to do on the internet today. So, I mean, it's really a lovely, lovely pages in here, but I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is they're a lovely base for doodling on because um, you've got a pattern there already. So what I thought I'd do is try, and I may fail, but I'll try very quickly. Um, to kind of extend something off here onto here so I'm just trying to get it so that you can get the best view of it um, you're not going to be able to if I pull out too much so you won't see anything um, if I put that that way I've got embroidery over there so if I put that that way then you can see that and if I work on here now you can maybe take your, your lead from this um, a pie chart for lunch, pork pie, apple pie, meat potato pie, shepherd's pie. Forecast the likelihood of pie this lunchtime. Well, there isn't going to be any pie this lunchtime. But I'm going to start in black. And I'm thinking, if I look at what I've got on here, I like this. This kind of like unfinished cross hatching. So perhaps I could do that around. There's like a, a double edge on this. There's like, and you'll probably see better on the pictures. If I pull in, you're going to... Can you see it's like a double edge? So I could maybe do some of that on here, like partial cross hatching maybe. Um, doesn't look like much to be honest, but maybe when it's filled with this it'll look better. We'll see. You don't know until you try. Yeah, I mean, it's some kind of patterning, isn't it? It's not maybe the best patterning in the world, but it is patterning all the same. Perhaps the area is too small there for that. But no, I mean, it's filled it in. It's okay. So I do really like that. I'd quite like to do some of that big. So I might do some of that in here. So if I... Um... not very good with straight lines today. Like television aerials, aren't they? But it's filling that space nicely. And it's like I said the other day, it's a warm-up exercise. I mean, I've had a busy day so far. I've had to go out. I've been dashing around town, trying to get stuff done. But, um, and then I've got to go out again shortly to the podiatrist, so I'm just trying to cram as much as I can in, because I know when I come back from the podiatrist this afternoon, I'm going to want to do something creative. Now, this line here is ripe for something, and if I look at this, I've got dots, and I know dots are kind of like my default, but I mean, if dots are appropriate, dots are appropriate, or maybe little squares would be more appropriate. I might put some colour in this in a second. So if I just follow this line with little squares, that's not a very good square, Karen. Can't even draw a square, that's how good I am. And I'm thinking um, squares and then little coloured dots in between. I mean, that's a pattern. It might not be the best pattern in the world, but it's a pattern. And it's took me no time at all, has it? So if I get... I'm still on a mission to get the world doodling. And I think... Um, I don't know which colour to use. I'm just going to test them over here. And I know there's a lot of adult colouring books out there at the moment, isn't there? Um, so it's not just me. I think the colouring and doodling phenomenon 
has well and truly launched itself. I don't think they're bright enough to be honest. Um, that's better. I'll use that one. So if I put a little dot in there. I mean it's not gonna set the world on fire but and as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about other things I could do. I'm just not going to tell you because I'm going to do my class. But look, and fill in these little bits here. So it's kind of like a colouring in book anyway. Um, I will look at your page and the bits that you think you might be able to colour in with a bit of coloured pencil. Let's get this one. So it's not brilliant, but it's developing and it's not finished. I may do a bit more at the weekend. I do like them, they're like little tiny humbugs, um, which are kind of like sweets in England. And I'll put a little thing in here in this shepherd's pie dish, a bit like that, and then like that. make it into a funky dish get a dark green and see what happens with that and put that down there that and that so I mean that was simple wasn't it and how long six minutes so they're a tiny little doodle um, on a page that I didn't create but nevertheless it's inspiring um, and I, it, like if I was doing this for an hour if I was to make you a video for an hour and did that over the whole page. Can you imagine how wonderful that might look? For some reason that just went dark then. Maybe a cloud came, I don't know. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. A bit more doodling for you.